by Sriram. And this video is especially produced by Diesel Ship Academy. And today we will be talking about the LPG gas stove working and a practical demonstration. This is the gas stove, what we use in everyday uh, for cooking. And this is the liquefied petroleum gas cylinder. So a small demonstration of how we get the flame over here for cooking purpose. Now a small demonstration of the cylinder. So we get LPG, that is the liquefied petroleum gas. We'll see the properties in the future videos. And these get, uh, the gas is getting compressed and liquefied into the cylinder and stored under a pressure. So you might, you might wonder how this pressure is not produced over here and why the flame over here does not go back to the cylinder and cause an explosion. The reason is that uh, the cylinder having a pressure, this is what we call as the gas regulator. This has a nozzle effect and we all very well know what a nozzle is which increases the velocity and decreases the pressure. For example, let us say the liquefied petroleum gas under a very high pressure passes through the gas regulator, that is a nozzle, which reduces the pressure which is sufficient enough for the conversion of the gas, increases the velocity so that it passes through the tube and gets to this place sucking in the air, causing a venturi effect. I'll just show you after the demonstration. So we should be very clear that we have a regulating wall or a nozzle over here for reducing the pressure and increasing the velocity. And this is a flexible hose which supplies the LPG, that is the liquefied petroleum gas, to the gas tub. Now let us have a short demonstration of the gas, gas tub. Just see the way I remove it because every burner stall is almost of a similar construction and this is the main burner area. The holes provided in this area are just for equal distribution of the flame and air so that the flame pass through this and emerge outside. So we can take this outside separately and just keep it on. Of course the material will be copper or some other alloy which withstands that much heat. And just focus the camera over here so that we can uh, see it. Now, this is nothing, just uh, a tube-like thing which emerges over here, which has a hole over here. Everything is sealed off over here and there's a hole, a tube which is connected to the main LPG line underneath. I'll just show it. I'll ensure for safety reasons everything is switched off. And don't practice this in your home until and unless it's very uh, expert supplier or anybody, a specialist handles this. I just use this for demonstration purpose. Yes, now we can see at the bottom. This is the main LPG line which comes and supplies to every burner auxiliaries. And here is the all hole. This is the main aspect for combustion. For any combustion to happen, we require three things. One, the fuel, that is the LPG. Other is oxygen. And three is the source of heat. And obviously the source of heat is what we get from the lighter, we call it, and oxygen. When LPG comes through this with a velocity, as I said from the nozzle, it causes a venturi effect. Say for example, when a high speed train goes and you stand nearby, you get sucked in, right? That is a venturi effect or vacuum effect. Similar way, when LPG gas passes through at a higher speed or higher velocity, it sucks in air at these areas or these holes. So air and gas or the LPG fuel gets mixed up, producing a flammable mixture. Thus, when we produce a source of ignition over here, every three things, that is oxygen, the fuel and source of ignition are on a right angle triangle, that is, oh sorry, in a, a flame triangle in a proper proportion thus producing a fire which finally comes as flame. Now uh, we we'll just see a short demonstration how to light up a gas. Of course this is a simple everyday aspect but still a short demonstration with a theoretical knowledge. Now when you open the gas stove like this we hear a hissing sound of the gas flowing through which encapsules the air. You light it, it burns the oxygen, you reduce the amount of fuel which goes for obtaining a blue color flame which substantiates that the combustion is proper. 
So this is how we adjust the air fuel ratio right from here to the boiler which we have in the power plant. Thank you.